So guys, DC Gay here, hitting you up with another video. Uh, yes, that did get voted on. I got two yes votes, so I'll take that as a uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> um, here we go. I, this is probably just going to be a royal ramble. Uh, yes, isn't, isn't that such a clever title? I know. I, I'm proud of it. I'm proud of clever things like that. A um, whole bunch of stuff I wanted to touch on. Um, let's start with what's happening tonight. And that is TNA Hardcore Justice. And the fact that the one match that has been announced that looks like it would deliver is not happening. <laughs> RVD versus Jerry Lynn. Fuck. Um, and I've been thinking in my head, like, shit, shit, shit. And they were talking about plans of, um, no, we don't know the rest of the card except for uh, Dreamer vs. Raven, which, with good booking, can turn out to be a decent match. Um, it can't. It, sh it can't be terribly long. You know, if it's just the two of them doing stuff, it can't be terribly long. You got to hit, you know, some signature spots, some good hardcore stuff, and just a nice story to tell, and we'll be all set. <clears throat> Plus, if Beulah appears, I'll be. I'll be a happy man. I mean, and she's she doesn't look much like she did in ECW, but I still think she's quite a good-looking lady. I'm not gonna lie, uh, lucky Tom Dreamer. Uh, uh, but yeah, we got Jerry Lynn versus RVD not happening. But this could be a big opportunity. You can have this big ECW card. People are just like, oh, Sabu and uh, Simon Diamond, because people like Simon Diamond, apparently. I don't, I don't hate Pat Kenny, Simon Diamond, whoever he is. I don't hate him. Um, I, it's hard for me to really hate a wrestler, um, unlike some people can do that. Um, it's hard for me to really hate a guy, but it take, you know, I, you know, I want to look for the good things in people. So, um. So they'll see all that stuff. This could be big. Because they could make this show really useful if in the main event is RVD. If he defends his title or just has a match with a TNA talent. I think that could be a good thing to do. And I think it would make this uh, pay-per-view a little bit more useful. Um, put him against, like even if it's like a surprise young guy. And give them a lot of time and make the young guy look really fucking good. Um, and the pay-per-view audience seeing that will be like, ah, oh, shit. And the ECW audience being like, ah, oh, shit. Um, you, could, you could, honestly, tonight, we could, if they do what I'm thinking, which they could do. They could, there's a possibility, possibility, they could do something like that. And make a pretty much an instant start to tonight um, from their TNA roster if they have them be the step in for Jerry Lynn um, the rest of the card mm -hmm. um, however I am going to check out uh, I'll get to that in a second uh, so that's hard, Hardcore Justice um, upcoming ROH shows One minute. did I have any comments on that just, you know, the uh, the weekend in uh, Richmond and Charlotte looks pretty good. They got Edwards versus Black. You got, um, I think Steen Strong is on night one or night two. You got, you got Steen versus Strong. You got, uh, you got Ultimate Endurance in Charlotte. You got Black versus Richards in Charlotte. Non-title. But, uh, that could definitely be, that match could be a big... Um, big influence on what the main event of uh, Glory by Honor is. Just, things are getting crazy, folks. <laughs> and ROH is is on is really blowing up this year. With you know, they're not on pay per view, but they're on. They are having pay per views on the internet, and I think that's doing just. I think that's doing just the trick at the moment. You know, it's the best. You know, for not being on television pay per view, they're still killing it. Um, and Gloria Bowner. God, if that tops Death Before Dishonor, I think everyone's junk will just explode. Like, it's just... If, if it's better than Death Before Dishonor... Wow. 
that would be insane. Um, I, I'm, I'm do, sorry, I'm just thinking about what would happen if Glory by Honor was better than Death Before This Honor. My hair's all weird. Oh, that'd be insane. Oh my god. That'd be insane. Um, yeah. There's that. Um, there's a, there is a show, um, in Plymouth, Mass, that I might, um, that a part of me kind of wants to check out, because I've never seen Our Waste live, but then again, it's the night before <laughs> Glory by Honor, and dear lord, are they going to be conserving their energy, so, and we're not even going to have, like, the biggest stars wrestling on that, it's going to be like, you know, Buffalo Stampede 2 was basically, you know, you had... Tyler, yeah, you you got to see like Tyler Black wrestle, and you got to see uh, you did get to see Aries versus Omega, but uh, but yeah, it's it's it, like it's uh, mm. <laughs> but then uh, sorry, someone's bouncing ball. Sorry if I seem. I know in a lot of I just want to apologize. In my videos, I get easily distracted, and I do these in one shot, and I'm not a video editor, so. I hope you guys, guys don't mind my style, style, uh, but this is what I want to do, this is what I want to make videos for, alright, what was I talking about, yes, Plymouth Mass show that I don't really want to see, um, there, there's been talks about, you know, maybe I could find my way to Glory by Honor, maybe, 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 tiny, sort of. Um, I was talking to Ani, Honor Hammer, and he's saying that I should try and go, and I'm like, eh, eh. Um, I think, I think a show that I would actually more likely want to see, uh, live would be, uh, you know, Glory by Honor I can see on my computer still. Uh, but, uh, a show I would want to see live would be one of the Manami Toyota shows. Uh, I would probably... I would want. I would probably go to the September 18th show uh, because it's a Saturday and I have 8 a.m. I have 8 a.m. classes for college all five days a week. So yeah, if I went to the Sunday show, getting home would suck. So, um, so I might go to the uh, Saturday Baltimore show. Um, something tells me it's not going to be as good as their New York show, but. Uh, Still, I uh, it's a chance to see Manami fucking Doyo. Why is my hair all slanty and stuff? I don't understand. God. That's better. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I want to see Manami Toyota because she's the shit. She's fucking awesome. Like, for reals. Like, ah. I, I, I want to see her. She's in her fucking, like, 40s now. I still want to see her wrestle. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see, what else? What else? What else? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm on. Remember, remember when people gave a crap about FIP Full Impact Pro down in Florida? I mean, they had FIP title in ROH a little bit. But, God, it, you know, Davey won the... Uh, once Gabe was out of uh, ROH, I think, you know, once Gabe was out of ROH, he was done, like, ROH was just done with working with FIP that much, and, you know, they're trying to rebuild, they have John Moxley as their champ, I like John Moxley, um, I think his CZW stuff is quite good, and his Evolve Ooh, burp. stuff is uh, quite good, at least just one match with Drake Younger, but yeah, he... I like his feel. He's almost like, you know, he's a little, he's a little bit Raven-esque. I don't want to say he's doing stuff like Raven, but that's the, the type of character he feels like. Someone who's like a Raven, or a Jake the Snake, or a Chris Daniels, or what have you. Um, yeah, I like John Moxley. So, FIP, I feel bad for FIP, because they really just been, they feel, they just feel like they've dropped off the face of the earth since ROH stopped working with them. And, like, I mean, they stopped working with them, but they still had, like, they had Davey Richards as their champion, so that's pretty big, and they had a good thing going with uh, Richards and Kenny King. And now I haven't, I don't think Kenny King's down there anymore. I don't think uh, Davey Richards is down there anymore. Uh, 
yeah, so they really got to rebuild. But they got Roderick Strong and Eric Stevens doing their thing. Even though I heard, I heard they had a pretty stupid idea happen. <laughs> a pretty stupid thing happened at their Cage of Death three match. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! According to reports, it ended in no contest, which I think is idiotic. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just in a Cage of Death, it's the blow off to the feud. You don't have a double. You you don't have a no contest. You don't have like a double knockout. You don't no. Just no. No. <laughs> uh, or maybe I'm just not up to date on the story enough. Maybe there's something in the story that makes it make sense. I'm gonna I'm I'm going to assume no. Unless proven wrong by some kind of report or I just gotta get the damn DVD. <laughs> um, what am I thinking? What am I thinking? So yeah, that's my thing on FIP. They're kind of long gone. <laughs> um, what else? Shit, I'm blinking. Sorry, Scrubs is on the background. I do love Scrubs. Um, okay, whole effing show. Thursday night. Uh, for, uh, for TNA. Um, I'm gonna watch this show. I'm going to thoroughly watch the show. Not just watch it to catch the. Uh, Moisty Machine Guns versus Beer Money, or something involving Jay Lethal. I'm gonna watch it. I mean, they got Beer Money versus Moisty Machine Guns in a two out of three falls match, which I think is stupid considering that this is a best of five series, and now you're having a two out of three falls match. That's just kind of in my head. That's just weird. Um, not that it won't be a good match, and not that I don't like the two out of three falls stipulation. Flair versus Steamboat. Oh. <laughs> But, yeah, but Beer Money and Motion Machine Guns just going to rip it up again. I wish this was three hours. I wish this was three hours. Like they said, it's like a pay-per-view quality on TV. Then make it three hours. Um, which, you know, they, so it's, uh, I'm looking into it like things will be not as long as you want it to be on a pay-per-view. But, hey, it's going to be a hell of a TV show. Beer Money, Motion Machine Guns, uh, Angle Styles. Um, so, uh... Pope versus Anderson versus Morgan. Yeah, yeah, I want to see that. I like, the, I love the Pope. Uh, I think Morgan, Morgan should be something about Matt Morgan. Like he should be doing a lot better. I don't remember this word. I have no clue who's going to answer Jeff Hardy's contract. Uh, maybe, maybe be, it'll be a guy I like, and he'll get a push. Something cool like that. Um, what else? What else am I forgetting? Uh, you got Love versus Rain. Eh. I mean, they have, like, a decent story going on in the knockouts division. Not that the matches are that good at all. <laughs> um, yeah. So, and then, the main event is RVD versus Abyss. It's stupid stairway to Janice. It just sounds awful. You don't want to... Honestly, when you're advertising a supposed pay-per-view quality event, you don't want people thinking, stairway to Janice, what the fuck is that? That just sounds stupid. God, stairway to hell sounds a bajillity, bajillity, bajillity times better. Um, stairway to Janice just sounds awful. And here's the deal. I think RVD and Abyss could have a good match. I mean, the way they interact, you know, the way that RVD can wrestle, and the way that Abyss can be, you know, it can be almost like a big man. They can do some big man, little man stuff that can be really cool. Um, ah. But of course, Abyss isn't a big man, he's a hardcore man. See, Abyss has everything. Abyss, come on, he's a big man, he, he has the ability to do hardcore spots, not that he should do them all the time, and he wears a mask. That's three gimmicks, three good gimmicks in one. How can you not find some way to make Abyss look good? Um, actually, he has been looking good. I, somewhat good, so. Even though I liked it better when he wasn't talking and when he was with James Mitchell. Why'd you get rid of James Mitchell? I don't know. Alright. That's it for this. Um. I don't really... Uh, I don't know if I'll actually watch uh, Hardcore Justice, but I will... I, I, I want to see what they do in the main event. I'll check out the whole episode. show. whole bunch of stuff going on in the indies that I just talked about. Um. Yeah. So, check everything out, guys. Check everything out. The Royal King. Stay classy.